Hi everyone! In this video I'd like to share with you just a very quick story that God's put on my, on my heart to share for this video and it's just the account where the Lord instructs Peter to um, get money from the mouth of a, of a fish because basically the Lord said to me um, don't forget in regards to the video I made yesterday the Lord was saying to me today don't forget the story of the the um the 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 fish with a coin in its in his mouth and um and so here here i'm sharing what what he's put on my heart basically but i have to read that verse first okay so it's in the book of matthew chapter 17 verse 27 and it says it reads like this nevertheless least we offend them go to the sea cast in a hook and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened its mouth, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them for me and you. And it's um, basically a story. Um, it's an account where the Lord instructed Peter to get money from the fish's mouth so that they can pay their tax. And um, so the thing is here is um Yesterday, if you remember, I mentioned how the Lord instructed Peter to cast his net on one on the, the right side of the of the boat, and then they caught so much fish that you know, the net was nearly um, split. The, the net was nearly broken, basically, and they had to call people to come and help them actually to to hold up uh, hold up uh, the net. Well. This is another story, but in this in this one, again, it's a provision story. But in this instance, it was the one fish. It was the one fish, and that's the point here. One account tells us of multitudes that was even too much. It was over the top. It was just over the top, basically overflowing. And then this other story is an account of one fish, just one. But just this one fish was enough to meet the need. And so the Lord, he's so lovely, you know, he said to me, don't forget the story of the fish with a coin, you know. And I think it's just because we were having all that discussion yesterday in the videos. And thank you so much for the um, comments as well. I'm, I'm, I'm reading the comments and... Uh, so encouraging so we're having this discussion and it's like the lord is joining in and saying to us don't forget the story of the coin with the um of the fish with the coin you know so the lord is able to and i have to say this before i end the video because this is what's on my heart to share that the lord is able to even the one uh coin the one cryptocurrency the lord is able to direct one per to direct somebody to get a hold of one coin and that coin is able to meet all of their needs. So in conclusion to this video and also this video is a continuation of yesterday's video about, you know, show me where the Lord leads somebody to um to to invest so that they can make gains basically. That, that was the question. So in this instance we have a situation where we can see that our God Almighty is able to even direct somebody, even to the one coin, the one cryptocurrency, and that one will be, shall I say, the one coin that will meet all, all the person's needs. Or if I want to be, um, if I want to say it in a, in a fun way, I would say the one coin to rule them all, you know, or, or something like that. However you want to say it, you know, but the Lord is able to direct somebody to pick the one coin and that one coin will fix all the situation that, that they are facing. So, um, so be encouraged. And like I said yesterday, um, don't, don't ever let anyone um, put you on a, on a sh shaky um shaky way place of thinking um concerning the lord where the lord is in in where we are today there is something that the lord intends to do for his church he's he's going to do it and um and yeah so you know let's be excited about that and don't let um 
discussions like that from family members or from friends and or from uh, friends or from colleagues or whatever that um or from religious people that are asking did god say you know blah blah don't, don't let that put you off just use the scripture and um submit to whatever the holy spirit is highlighting to you in the scripture you know because at the end of the day it's god who shines his light on the scripture you know be, you know without this the spirit the word is dead you know without the spirit so we we always need the the spirit of god to confirm what's what's written you know to highlight it for us and to breathe on it all right so um so yeah it's just a little report from the lord i i, I should say that this is what i heard him saying so this is what he's saying to us don't forget the story of the fish with the coin okay so don't forget that and i think this will um speak to some some of you this will minister to some of you all right have a good evening cheers bye bye